Hi, my name is Derek Griffin. I'm with Pro Torque Tools, and today I'm going to show you how to use a reaction arm torque multiplier. There are different kinds of torque multipliers, and this particular style uses what's called a reaction arm, and it anchors against something nearby the bolt that you're going to tighten to keep the unit in place, to keep it from spinning as you're tightening the bolt. So the way that you use this is you basically take the output drive, put it into your socket, and then put that socket on the bolt that you're going to tighten. And there's a bolt under here, so that's kind of a demo. The next thing you have to do is calculate the output force or how tight that bolt needs to be. Let's say it needs to be 2,000 foot-pounds, and the model you're working with has a gear ratio of 20 to 1. You simply do the math, 2,000 divided by 20, and you know that you need 100 foot-pounds of input force. The input force is important because you do not want to exceed the recommended input force of the unit you're using. You set your torque wrench to 100 foot-pounds, you put that into the input drive, and then as you turn, this arm is going to rest against a solid surface. That could be a nearby bolt that's anchored. Um, it could be a solid surface. It really doesn't matter. But once you reach 100 foot-pounds, your torque wrench will tell you that. And then you will know that you've tightened the bolt to 2,000 foot-pounds. We do have several models of this reaction arm, starting at only 1,500 foot-pounds and then going to 2,600, 4,000, 5,500, and 7,500. These are all in stock with gear ratios that start at around 17 to 1 and go up to about 25 to 1. This style multiplier, the reaction arm multiplier, along with a plate reaction multiplier, which can also be helpful when you don't have a surface to rest against, and your traditional reaction bar multiplier, these are all in stock and available at ProTorqueTools.com.